Hello, I'm the Zed, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get yourself one of these VH build bubbles on your 3.60 PlayStation Vita. Um, this is going to be redundant in a few weeks, but for now it's going to be pretty nice that you can have this. Um, as you can see, my device is running version 3.60, and this VH build bubble is indeed working. You can run homebrews via this. And to replicate this, you only need one random PlayStation Portable game on your PlayStation Vita. So it must not be a PlayStation 1 game, it must not be a PlayStation Vita game, and it must not be a PlayStation Mobile game. So, as you can see, you can just start this random homebrew, and it will work. There you go, Pokemon. <clears throat> so, how to re replicate this on your PlayStation Vita? Um, you need one random PlayStation Portable game, so any of these, for example, would work. It's better if the game is small, because we have to copy it to our PC and copy it back. So if it's bigger, it takes longer, but in theory it should work. For my testing, I'm just going to use this Uno game, but as I said, pretty much every PlayStation Portable game should work for this trick. Any legit PlayStation Portable game. Um, we also need this Molecular Shell app. I created a separate video which shows you how to install this app on your PlayStation Vita. We will need this because we have to transfer some files. But before we do this, at first, um, if you have your PlayStation Portable game already on the PlayStation Vita, then you should create a backup via the content manager. Um, how do I start with this? Okay, this looks weird because of this, it's at the bottom, but whatever. Um, on your PlayStation, no, on your computer, you need um, the Sony content manager. And if you do run your content manager, you can copy content from your Vita to your computer. This now looks incredibly silly, but the USB connector is at the bottom and there's a table, so I don't know. Okay, we copy from PS Vita to computer, PSP slash other, and then we search for our game. My game is Uno, so I'm going to copy it onto the computer. Okay, and I'm done. So for now, I created a uh, backup of my game. So in case we um, make a mistake, we can easily fix this. The next step is going to be on the computer. And the last step should be on the PlayStation Vita again. Okay, looks like we're not fully done with the PlayStation Vita. I forgot one step. And the step is to open the Molecular Shell app. Um, if this app is crashing, or if you do not have this app, you can check out my other video. I explained how to get this app, and what to do if the app is not starting. And if you do not want to bother to watch the video, then, well, it sucks to be you. <laughs> Simply reinstalling the app solves the crashing bug, but okay. Um, we open the app and press select, so we can start the FTP server. and. This IP is going to be important because we have to input it on our computer for data transfer. And that's pretty much the step I forgot to show. And now we can continue on the computer for transferring the data and preparing the data and so on. Should be done with all the necessary PlayStation Vita steps and we can continue with the steps on our computer. But first we have to download the zip file, which is simply called Fiverr 360 VHBL. Um, Okay, it says I already downloaded it, so I just press F5 and try it again. There we go. Download and done. Um, in the past I created a tutorial which dealt with setting up custom bubbles on version 3.52 without an exploitable going. In the past we needed um, the EML hack, pretty much the email method, but this was a bit complicated and so on. But this tutorial pretty much describes what you have to do, at least in terms of like um, creating a backup and so on. 
but as soon as the email part starts we can we can forget about this tutorial because we don't need this email stuff anymore okay uh, this was once again of course created by quick razor i haven't heard of him in weeks i hope he's doing fine actually in months so i'm a bit worried but i think he's fine um, this is too complicated the tutorial i even created a video showcasing this but it doesn't matter we only need a few parts of this tutorial so we download this file then we have our um, okay then we have our two folders and one of the folders is our playstation vita folder and we have our save data files our game backups and so on first thing we have to do is um, in this alphanumeric folder we have potentially a lot of other folders and these are the game backups that we potentially have for example this minis is inside of this folder and so on we only have to find the game we want to use for our um, small hack and as a matter of fact I know that my UNO game has the ID NPEH00020 and I can just open this folder check the icon and okay it's UNO so this small folder then I copy it and create another folder I called it backup and then I copy my UNO inside of this so I have a local backup of the game in case we mess up um, I also want to have a local backup because um, if you mess up and you do not have a local backup you have to redownload re -download it from the PlayStation Store. But Sony can just remove it from, from the PlayStation Store for whatever reason. So I prefer to have a local backup. As long as this backup was created with CMA from your PlayStation Vita to your computer it should be working fine. Okay. Next thing we have to do is we go into this PSAFE data folder then once again the same alphanumeric folder and there are our safe data files for example my um, <coughs> GTA safe data and so on and inside of this 360 VHPL zip is a folder and inside of this folder we have a pboot file a VHPL 01234 folder and a readme file <coughs> and I already extracted this over here we have to copy this VHPL folder um, into our save data directory. So just copy it. If you already have this, just overwrite it and so on. And we're done. <coughs> if you happen to use uh, QCMA, like I do, then you have to refresh the database. If you use the normal Sony CMA or the patched Sony CMA, CMA which is called Open CMA, then you should not have to do this refresh database. It should automatically do it. <coughs> now the uh, last step we have to do on the computer is this pboot.pvp and the pboot part is we have to open our file zilla or whatever you want to use for um, an FTP connection and then uh, you usually have to click create new server give it a name give it the IP address that's displayed on our PlayStation Vita and the port 1337 which is the latest of all ports and then we just press connect Keep in mind that the PlayStation Vita and your computer have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network so they um, can find each other. And as you can see, this looks a bit different than what we are used to. We're used to the uh, PlayStation Portable file system, but that's easy to find. We just go to UX0, scroll down to PSP Emo, and now we have the um, structure we're used to, like PSP and so on. And in the structure, we go to PSP, game and then you have to find um, your game it has the same ID as it has on the computer and on my PlayStation Vita it has the ID NPEH00020 I open, the f I open this folder <coughs> and inside of this folder we have this weird file which we don't touch and we have the eboot file which is pretty much the game itself and now we just uh, drag and drop this pboot file into this directory for UNO the directory would be slash ux0 psp emu psp game npeh00020 um, if everything is done we right click and refresh so we I want to verify if this is actually copied and it didn't disappear so it looks like it's actually copied and that's pretty much everything we have to do on the computer <coughs> the last step we have to do is only on the PlayStation Vita, but the PlayStation Vita has to be connected to the computer via USB cable, so we can use our QCMA or OpenCMA or whatever. 
because now we have to copy a file to the computer and then copy it back and then we're pretty much done. Okay, the last part is on our PlayStation Vita. We can press circle to terminate the FTP connection. Um, if you want to, you can just click on UX0, click on PSP emo, click on PSP, click on game, and then click on the folder of your game to verify that the pboot was actually copied and it looks like it was copied. So we can now close the molecular shell and we now have to use the um, USB connection once again to copy files onto or from our computer. Um, I could also do this via Wi-Fi, I just remembered, but I prefer to do this via cable because it's faster. Okay, it looks a, weird, a bit weird now, but whatever. Um, we copy content and the first thing we have to do is we copy from PlayStation Vita to computer applications PSP slash other and then we have to find our game. For me it's Uno and I'm going to copy my Uno game onto my computer. Then I close the CMA application and then I click once again on copy content. And now we do the same but in return. So we copy from PC to Vita, applications, PSP other. Now I have to look where my Uno game is. It should be at the very top or at the very bottom. There we go. I click copy and I copy it from my computer to my PlayStation Vita. Um, if you get an error message, then go back to the P game folder on your computer, like the first one I showed, and delete the UNO file that's currently on your computer and restore the backup we created in the first step. Um, if you do not get an error message, copy UNO once again. We have to copy it twice from the computer to the Vita. Um, I can explain why we have to copy twice, but I'm going to do it to do this when uh, we're done with copying the files. And this is also the reason why I said uh, choose a small game, because if it's a small game it's faster to copy because it has less size. Okay, and now our UNO game should have changed into this uh, VH build bubble, as you can see. And the reason to copy it twice is, um, if you only copy it once, then oops, this icon changes, but this icon here in the middle would still be the UNO icon. And if we copy it twice, both icons get overridden. And if we now start this, oh no, I forgot a step. I mean, on, on my device it's not working because I already have the necessary files, but <clears throat> I forgot one step. We have to copy a second file as well. I'm stupid. Um, on the computer we uh, copied two files, and the second file, which I forgot to show to copy, is uh, we go from, from PC to PS Vita, then um, here, save data, PSP slash other, and then we have to look for the VHBL. Okay, where is the VHBL save data? I have a lot of old files in this. Okay, it should be this one, VHBL. I think it's this one. Copy, overwrite. And if we do this, then our VHBL bubble should be working. I'm sorry, I forgot about this step. Um, I already have this file on my PS Vita, that's why my bubble was already working. Um, but you have to copy this file as well, so the bubble is working. Usually it uh, doesn't work if you don't have these files. But as you can see, now our um, custom created bubble is also working. Sorry that this tutorial is a bit sloppy, <laughs> I haven't done this in weeks. So, yeah. Um, for installing homebrews on the VHPL, um, either you can use the FTP 
we are um, it's actually recommended to use the uh, molecular shell FTP and install homebrews in a similar way how we install the pboot file because this is the fastest method and it's the least complicated one so um, I'm going to show I think I'm going to create a, th a third video that shows how to easily install PSP homebrew via the molecular shell as well because all the old methods to create homebrew, uh, not create homebrew, uh, copy homebrew, are either a bit complicated or outdated and don't work anymore. And as you can see, this is working. I mean, I also have two VHBL bubbles. As you can see, now I have two at the top, so, so yeah. And of course, this is working on version um, 360. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for this sloppy tutorial, I haven't done this in weeks, but yeah. If you want to have a VHBL bubble on your version 360, you pretty much only have to um, use the molecular shell application for the FTP connection, then copy the pboot file into your um, game of choice, then um, copy the game to the computer, copy it from the computer to the Vita back, and copy the save data from your computer to your PlayStation Vita and then everything should be working. So in theory it's a lot easier than I just showed this if you do it in the correct order. So yeah, I'm do that and see you soon.